today's video, we are going to find out which place in Taipei has the best beef noodle soup. Now, beef noodle soup is an extremely popular dish here in Taiwan. It is one of my all-time favorite Taiwanese dishes. So today, I have chosen four places for us to go to, and these are some of the highest rated places for beef noodle soup in Taipei. So we are gonna go to each place and try their noodles, their beef, and their broth, which is arguably the most important part of a beef noodle soup. And we're gonna see how they compare to each other because these are the staples of what makes a good beef noodle soup. So we're coming up on our first stop, so let's go. Okay, so we just made it to our first stop of this beef noodle soup tour, and we are at Fu Hong Beef Noodles, which is really, really popular, but I myself haven't had a chance to try it, so I'm sharing my first experience with you guys. And this is definitely one of the most popular beef noodle soup places in Taipei. Like, they have thousands and thousands of amazing reviews. And this place is also open 24 hours, which I don't really know any other beef noodle soup places open 24 hours. So you can get your beef noodle soup fix any time of the day. So I basically just asked them what's their most famous thing and obviously they said the beef noodle soup and then I ordered it with these wider, thicker noodles because they said it's more QQ which means chewy and I'm all about the chewy noodles. So I got a small bowl here for only 90 NT and on your table you're gonna see that they have different things for you to add into your beef noodle soup such as hot oil and pickled vegetables as well as like vinegar and stuff so you can really customize your bowl here. Here is my beef noodle soup. We got some broth, we got some pieces of beef that look like it has a little bit of tendon running through it as well but no huge tendon pieces in this. I added some pickled vegetables and I'm gonna add some of that hot oil. It's kind of like a solid, so it's very interesting. I'm gonna just add like, I don't know how spicy it is. I'm just gonna add like that much. And this bowl is seriously steaming hot. Look at all that steam coming out of the noodles. All right, can't wait any longer. Let's dig in. Mm. Those noodles definitely have a chew. They're not the chewiest noodles ever, but I'm pretty sure they're hand pulled. Like they look like they're pulled with love. The broth actually coats the noodles nicely, so even though I'm only eating the noodles, I still get some flavor of that broth. So let's move on to the beef. They have like a few pieces in here. They don't give you too much, but this is also a small bowl. The beef actually looks very nice and tender, so let's try it. Mm. It's not like melt in your mouth tender, but it is very, very juicy and flavorful. Mm. All right, now let's move on to probably the most important part of a beef noodle soup, the broth. So as I fill up my spoon here, you can kind of see that there's these little bubbles of oil at the top. I think that's actually from the hot oil that I added because before I added that hot oil, the broth actually didn't look very greasy at all. Mmm, okay. This one is actually more mild. Like the flavor doesn't punch you in the face, but it's definitely there. What I like about this broth is that even though you can kind of see those bubbles of oil at the top, it's actually not greasy at all. This is definitely a really good bowl of beef noodle soup. And especially for the value, only 90 NT, that's only like three US dollars. So this is one of the cheapest bowls of beef noodle soup I've had. All right, so now we are at our next stop on this beef noodle soup tour, and it is probably the most famous beef noodle soup place in Taiwan, which is Yongkong Beef Noodles. And I've been here like countless times. It's definitely one of my favorites. This is kind of like the beef noodle of all beef noodles. So what I have here is their spicy beef noodle soup with half beef, half tendon. And I like to get this combination so that you can get both their really, really tender beef and also their really silky tendon. And I also piled in those pickled green that they have sitting at the table. When you look at the beef, it pretty much is falling apart in my chopsticks. Like, that's how tender it is. The tendon is so silky, it's so hard to pick up in your chopsticks, it slips out, but it's really, really good. Ready? Oh man, every time I come here, I'm amazed at how delicious it is. I mean, we just had the noodles. They're not super chewy, but they are a very nice consistency. I love how every strand of noodle is coated with that oily goodness of the broth. Mm. Let's try some of this silky tendon. And this is probably my favorite tendon I've ever had because it's just so smooth and not chewy. The tendon is so silky that 
you don't even need teeth to bite it. My grandma could eat that tendon and she has no teeth. So that's how you know how soft that is. Next up are their pieces of beef. And since they're in big chunks, they don't quite melt in your mouth, but they're so tender that they just fall apart. Like it's barely even holding on in my chopsticks. So let me eat it before it falls apart. Mm. It just disintegrated into my mouth. That is seriously unmatched. Like it's so good. And last but not least, we have to try the broth, of course. Oh my gosh, it's super fragrant. Mm. Just the depth of that beefy flavor. I also love how they make it spicy too. There's actually a quite strong garlic flavor in it as well. Even though I have so much eating to do today, I'm still gonna finish every last drop because you gotta cherish it. Mm. It's so good. Mm. So now we are at our third stop, which is Ling Dongfang, and this place is really, really famous as well, just like Yong Kong, Mian. And you'll actually find a lot of people comparing this place to Yong Kong. Some people like this place better, some people like Yong Kong better. So I'm here to share my opinions with you, and I ordered a small bowl of their half beef, half tendon beef noodle soup, which is also what I got at the Yong Kong place. But this one doesn't come already spicy, like they have this spicy lard kind of paste that you're supposed to mix into your soup if you want it spicy. Looking at this bowl, there's a lot of this kind of oily, greasy film on top. It has a lot of those oil bubbles and I actually don't remember it being so oily. I actually came here like two weeks ago and I don't remember it being like this. So we also have those large beef pieces which have some tendon in it as well. You can see that jelly-like texture running through the beef. And we also have our pieces of tenon looking very smooth and silky. And the noodles here, they look more like a udon thickness. So before I add that spicy paste, I'm gonna go ahead and try the broth without it. You can really see all those oil bubbles there. I don't know, it's kind of throwing me off, but let's try it. Wow, so much rich beef flavor there. I do think it's quite oily. I am getting this kind of like film of oil. It's, it's not too bad, but I just don't remember it being so oily. When you drink this, you can tell that they've probably been cooking that beef broth for so long, like hours, you know? The beef flavor in it really like shines through. I'm gonna add some of that paste. Honestly, in my opinion, beef noodle soup is just not the same if it's not spicy. But that's just my humble opinion. And then we just mix it in with the broth. All right, let's try it. Mm. Oh yeah, I think it kind of comes at the end. Like when I first drank it, I was like, hmm, not much of a difference. But at the end, you can kind of feel that kick. I feel like it added some fattiness into the broth as well. That's the kind of spicy beef noodle soup I'm looking for. All right, let's go ahead and try some of the noodles. <laughs> this thing is gonna slaughter everywhere. Don't wear white when you eat beef noodle soup, just a pro tip. Okay, let's go for these noodles. Those noodles have a nice chew for sure. I feel like my preference is that I like thicker noodles rather than thinner noodles, so I actually like these a lot. But one thing about them is that they don't hold on to the broth flavor as well as the other ones that we tried, but that might also be because they're thicker. I don't know. I don't really know the science behind whether or not the broth sticks on the noodles. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try a piece of the tendon. Definitely chewy, not as smooth as the ones that we had earlier today at Yong Kong. But it just depends on what kind of tendon you like, you know? I feel like some people actually like that gelatinous chew from tendon. So I really think it's like a personal preference whether you like your tendon more chewy or more like melty, silky, you know? Clearly, I need to work on my descriptions. So let's just move on and try some of the beef. These pieces are definitely more of a thinner slice and yeah, you got that tendon running through it. Oh my I barely even needed to bite down and it already was like starting to fall apart. Mm. You know, this beef is interesting. It actually needs that tendon running through it to kind of break up the dryness of the beef. Because when you get a chunk without the tendon, you're like, oh. 
That's already kind of dry. But before that, when I ate it with the tendon, I didn't notice any dryness at all. So as long as it has the tendon, that's a solid piece of beef for sure. I've had two bowls of beef noodle soup today, so I am a happy girl. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last stop. Okay guys, I'm here in line at our fourth and final stop and I actually came here on a Saturday a few days ago and the line was crazy long and I was like, I don't have time to wait in this line. But today's a Tuesday and I'm back and there is still quite a long line. Just a warning that there might be a line here even on a weekday. So we are finally inside. It actually didn't take me too long to get seated since I was only a party of one. So I ordered their braised beef noodle soup and immediately my first impression was that this bowl is really, really big for only 150 NT. So the portion size here are pretty generous. And what sets this place apart from the others is that their noodles are super thick. Like they're thick for beef noodle soup noodles. And they really load the noodles in here. The ratio of noodles to broth and beef is actually very high. The beef looks pretty solid. You can see that there's actually a lot of fat on those pieces too. And also they really load on some green onions here, which I'm always a fan of green onions. So let's go ahead and dig into these noodles. Look at these. They're so thick. Mm. Wow, very interesting actually. The noodles are chewy, but not as chewy as I expected with this kind of thickness. Like you see noodles that are this thick and you would think that they are quite chewy, but they're not chewier really than the other noodles that we've tried at the other places. And then it's very interesting because the noodles did soak up some of that broth flavor, but for some reason it reminded me of like, it has this like deli meat flavor to it. It's actually very strange and I don't know, it's bizarre. It's really bizarre to me. I don't know why I'm tasting some kind of like, almost like salami slash pepperoni kind of flavor. Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> but let me go ahead and try the broth. So it actually is quite oily, even though the broth is more of a clear color than some of the other ones we've tried. Yeah, I do taste beef. It is a lighter broth in terms of flavor, but I still do get that weird <laughs> pepperoni-ish flavor. I don't know what's up with that. I'm sorry, like, I can't describe it better. I'm gonna add some of the hot oil to the broth to spice it up. And I hope that it will help the broth get some more flavor. Mm, yes, that's a little kick that I needed. I actually highly recommend adding the hot oil into the broth. I really like it with the hot oil. All right, now let's try a piece of beef. It's nothing too special, not particularly tender. Like even though it has some fat on the pieces, I think compared to the other places we tried, this has the least tender beef. And the flavor of the beef is kind of off to me. It doesn't have that delicious, rich, beefy, meaty flavor that I love. All right, I'm gonna finish up my bowl and then I'll meet you guys to discuss what we think. Okay, so that was a lot of beef noodle soup. These are literally so highly reviewed, like thousands of reviews. So it was really awesome being able to try all four of them in one video and then seeing how each place differed from another. And here are my rankings based solely on flavor, not based on the line, not based on the price. This is purely on flavor. So. In fourth place, I would give it to Liu Shandong beef noodles. For some reason, I just thought that weird pepperoni kind of taste in the broth was just throwing me off. Not that I hated it per se, but I just thought it didn't really belong in a beef noodle soup. I also didn't think the noodles were as chewy as they could have been, and the beef really just, I wasn't impressed with that. So coming in third place, I would give it to the first place we went to, Fu Hong beef noodles. I really liked how this place gave kind of like a thicker, flat, wide noodle, and I actually really, really liked their broth as well. So I have to give it to them for third place. And coming up in second place, I have to give it to Ling Dong Fang beef noodles. I really like how chewy their noodles are and their broth does have really deep beef flavor. And I also really like their spicy lard paste thing that they put on the side because I like to kind of pile that in there so I can get it spicier and add more flavor to the broth. So last but not least, first place goes to Yong Kong beef noodles and this shop 
really holds a special place in my heart ever since I tried it for the first time a few years back. It has always been my ultimate favorite beef noodle soup. And today just really reinforced that because out of all the places that we tried, it had the most flavorful broth as well as the most melt in your mouth beef and tendon. So I really have to award them with my stamp of approval and the title of best beef noodle soup in Taipei. Now this is just my opinion, Feel free to make your own opinions, or if you have your own opinions, also leave them in the comments down below because I would love to have a chat with you about beef noodle soup. I'm very passionate about this stuff, as you can tell. So if you want to see more of these types of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And I have a bunch of Taipei videos, so if you're hungry for more, I'm going to put some on the screen right here that you can check out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!